In this video, we will discuss how to be prepared for an emergency situation and the items you need to document to ensure business continuity and minimal impact to your business. The information contained in this video is also contained in the knowledge article 188954, which will be kept updated with our latest recommendations. These recommendations are aimed at the contract administrators with a view to having them in place in case of absence. I'll start off by talk about the basic information you need to gather about Contrem. I'll follow this with some basic administration steps we strongly recommend on every country environment. And I'll finish by explaining the information your backup will need if they need to reach out to us. We have created a checklist containing the information we consider is needed for every environment. Having this information documented is the first step to ensuring continuity of service and prevent major outages. Start off by having a diagram or overview of the control environment showing where the various components are installed, the product, versions, etc. At a minimum, this should contain all the server components, in example, the control enterprise manager, control server, workload archiving, etc. Next, document the various user IDs and passwords, including the DVO and DBO, DBA user ID and passwords used in your control environment, as this might be required in an emergency to perform administration tasks or run some utilities. This needs to be kept in a secure location that can be accessed in your absence. Please find out who needs to be contacted if a problem relating to the network, database, operating system, etc. is experienced and make sure their names, backups and contact numbers, which may have changed if they are working from home, are all documented. Document your disaster and recovery procedures and ensure this is known to your colleagues. If you are performing any daily, weekly, or monthly administration tasks, make sure they are documented and continue in your absence. Document your control startup and stop procedures to ensure the correct steps are always followed. Simple things like this can avoid data corruption, restores, and downtime. When dealing with problems, the data collectors can be very important. So please document where and how to run the utilities described here. Make sure your colleagues have access to the control and desktop clients to manage the control environment with the necessary access levels. Let me emphasize that these items are just the bare minimum you will need to do in order to prepare for an emergency. You may already have more extensive process in place, but if not, they are a starting point. We are very wary that many customers have changed freezes in place, so we have kept this section short. At the minimum, we recommend two basic steps. Firstly, make sure you have in place a mechanism for monitoring the disk space in your controlling file system. If you don't have any, please bring it to you, the attention of your system administrator for assistance. Secondly, and this is very important, make sure your colleagues understand the backup restore procedures you have in place. If you don't have any, please review the knowledge article described in the slide for assistance. If your colleagues run into a problem and need assistance from BMC, the last thing they will want to be doing is working out how to reach us, how to open a case, and work out how to get us logs. To minimize delays, please document your super ID and PIN and check that your colleagues can access the BMC Support Web Portal by logging in online. 
familiarize your colleagues with the BMC Support Web Central and get them to subscribe for proactive notifications so they will get important updates in addition to you. When dealing with BMC customer support through a case, we often need to exchange information and sometimes this means the transmission of large log files. Understanding how to send this information is very important and the knowledge article in the slide explains the different methods that are available. If your colleague needs to open a case, the more information you provide, the easier it is to understand the problem and this will lead to quicker resolutions. All the topics in the slide are available in short videos using the link at the bottom of this slide. To summarize, all the information discussed in this video can be found in the knowledge article 188954. That concludes this controlling video. Thank you for your time. Stay safe.